Purely with curiosity in mind, I decided to recreate the Mythbusters experiment. I contacted NASA to ask how I can go about obtaining the Lunar Regulus Simulant, also known as JSC-1A. They directed me to their contractor, Orbit Tech, for 375 US dollars plus international shipping they were kind enough to send me 25 kilograms of their moon dust simulant. Whoa. Judging by this um, simulant, I can already tell that it's probably not going to hold distinct prints because my fingers, whenever I poke it, are just they just collapse in on themselves. Just like you do at sandy beaches. But let's not judge prematurely. Let's just start loading the stuff up. Here's a moment of truth. Ralph Rene believed that the moon boot prints that we see in the Apollo photographs were impossible because there is no water on the moon and therefore no water to hold the particles together. Now, people such as the Mythbusters have claimed that you don't need water because the particles are very, very sharp and therefore they can bond together quite easily because they're sharp edges. Right? Well, Mythbusters did a test, but what they, what they failed to do was dig their footprint inches down into the soil. Right? Buzz Aldrin in his press conference, he claimed that he could stick his boot print down several inches, maybe a quarter of an inch, maybe even seven inches even. Okay, so what I've got, what I've got here is I've got a moon dust simulant, the same stuff that the Mythbusters used. What they did was they just went down a few millimeters into, the, into there, so you know, you make it shallow enough, even dry sand will leave a print. So I've got this box here, it's filled with the, the JSC 1A moon dust simulant. Okay, this box here is about 10 centimeters. I'm gonna see if I can get a print much like those seen in the Apollo photographs. Here is the moment of truth. Here's the moment of truth. Let's see what happens. Was Rene right? Let's find out. Okay, here it goes. Say hello to my little friend. How about that? Look at that, it collapses in on itself. How about that? That proves that Mr. Rene was correct in his findings. Looking at this depression, it is clear that when inches deep, the regolith collapses into the depression like dry sand. The sharp edges of the particles do nothing. Was I too rough, maybe? Okay, let's be gentle this time. Still the same, it just collapses in on itself. Whether I stamp hard or do it gently, it's not going to do much. And to the particles, they just collapse in on itself. They have no bonding agents. So I guess that means Mythbusters are busted. You see a somewhat form of an imprint, but it's not as clear as what we see in the Apollo photographs. As before, whether stamping or gently stepping on it, the particles continue to collapse inward. They may have sharper edges than dry sand, but they clearly have no means of sticking together. If you can't do it with the JSC-1A simulant, you can't do it with the real stuff. Look at that. Look at it. It's completely collapsed in on itself. Right? And this is using the exact same material that the Mythbusters had used. Right? So, had they done their experiment properly, like I had, you know, it would have been pretty clear that they would have gotten a result like this. But they didn't, because they cheated it. They didn't dig their boot deep enough into the soil. I dig my boot as far as Aldrin claims he dig, dug his boot into the lunar soil, and what happens? Boom! All, this, all the dust falls in on its own footprint, just like you do at the beach when there's dry sand. So, don't you ever tell me that those, those famous boot print photos that you like to put on your website, like to put on your wall or whatever, don't you ever tell me that those were taken on the moon. This proves otherwise. So get over it! There are no footprints on the moon.
The Mythbusters Regulith print was a mild improvement on their Sand print, no doubt, but there is no way you could compare their Regulith print to an Apollo print up close. To create a boot print like this in the Lunar Regolith would be a complete impossibility. On a final note, before anyone complains that I'm not inside a vacuum chamber, keep in mind the only purpose of the chamber was to remove any moisture which may have helped the particles stick together under atmospheric conditions. So for me to do this in a vacuum could only make my imprints worse, not better. Well, that's all that done. Now for the fun part. Cleaning up the mess. People talking in movie shows. People smoking in bed. People voting Republican. Give them a boot to the head. Boot to the head! Fix a car, politicians who can't think, the salesman who won't leave me alone, the waiter who forgot my drink.